Hello there. Now I'm going to show you four examples of limits being computed. Here we have the limit as x goes to 1 of x squared plus 2x minus 3 all divided by x minus 1. We'd really like to be able to evaluate this at 1 but we cannot because uh, x minus 1 is the denominator and if we plug in 1 for x we get a 0 in the denominator which, which is no good. In this case we factor. So to compute this limit we have to factor the numerator. So let's do it. So we have the limit as x goes to 1 of x minus 1 times x plus 3 all over x minus 1. At this point, because we're taking the limit as x goes to 1, we're assuming that x is not equal to 1. Hence, we can cancel these terms out and we get this is equal to the limit as x goes to 1 of x plus 3 and then this is equal to 4. We should point out that x plus 3 as a function is not equal to x squared plus 2x minus 3 all over x minus 1 because when we evaluate x at 1 this one's equal to 4 and this one is undefined. However, near 1 but not equal to 1 these two functions agree. Hence the limits are the same hence this is a legal set of moves. Done! Let's see the next example. We want to compute the limit as x goes to 1 of the square root of x plus 8 minus 3 all over x minus 1. While we'd like to plug in 1 for x we cannot because there's an x minus 1 in the denominator. This time we rationalize the numerator by multiplying by the conjugate. So to compute this limit, we're going to rationalize the numerator by multiplying by the conjugate. So it's going to be the square root of x plus 8 plus 3 all over the square root of x plus 8 plus 3. So now this is equal to the limit as x goes to 1 of what well we have to expand this out and we're going to find that it equals x plus 8 minus 9 and in the denominator don't do anything just leave it as the square root of x plus 8 plus 3. Simplify the numerator we have a limit as x goes to 1 x plus 8 minus 9 that's just x minus 1 aha so now we have x minus 1 times the square root of x plus 8 plus 3. And since we're taking the limit, we may cancel these terms because we're assuming that x is not equal to 1. So we cancel these terms equals the limit as x goes to 1 of 1 over the square root of x plus 8 plus 3. And at this point, we can just evaluate at x equals 1. So this is equal to 1 sixth. We should point out that this function here is not equal to this one because when you evaluate x, x at 1, this one's undefined, and this one equals 1 sixth. However, these two functions agree near x equals 1, and that's why the limits are equal. Done. Let's do another example. So now we wish to take the limit as x goes to 9 of x minus 9 all over the square root of x minus 3. And while we would like to plug in 9 for x, we cannot because if we plug in 9 for x, we get the square root of 9, which is 3, 3 minus 3 in the denominator, which is 0. That's no good. In this case, we rationalize the denominator by multiplying by the conjugate. So again, we're going to multiply by the conjugate. And so let's go ahead and do that. So I multiply by, let's see, the square root of x plus 3, the square root of x plus 3, and what's going to happen? Well, this is going to equal the limit as x goes to 9 all over, well, this is going to be x minus 9 here. Oh, that looks pretty bad. However, we have x minus 9 in the numerator already and the square root of x plus 3. Don't even multiply it out. So now 
what we can do is we can, since we're taking the limit and we're assuming that x is not equal to 9 when we take the limit, we can cancel these out and we get that the limit as x goes to 9, we have this, uh, the square root of x plus 3. That's a long square root sign. Sorry, er sorry everybody. Okay, so now I plug in 9. What's the square root of 9? It's 3. So this is equal to um, 3 plus 3, which is 6. There's our final. Done. Final example. Okay, so here we have another problem, and we, we're taking the limit as x goes to 1 of 9 minus 3 to the 2x all over 3 minus 3 to the x. And while we'd like to plug in 1 for x, we cannot because that would be 3 minus 3 to the 1, which is 0. We have a 0 in the denominator, which prohibits us from doing this. This time, we factor again. So, the, so what we're going to do here is we're going to rewrite the numerator a little bit. So this is equal to the limit as x goes to 1 of, let's see, well, I can write this like this. I can write it as 3 squared minus 3x squared. And I have 3 minus 3x. And now this is the difference of two squares. And, and we should know how to factor the difference of two squares. We factor it, well, we have to write the limit first. So we, that's 3 minus 3x. You do. Uh, the thing that you're squaring, 3 plus 3 to the x times 3 minus 3 to the x. And now I can cancel these two because we're taking the limit. And this is equal to the limit as x goes to 1. Again, the limit's needed here, otherwise these are not equal. 3 plus 3 to the x. And this is equal to, well, 3 plus 3 to the 1 is equal to 6. There's our final answer. Done. Four examples. Done. Let's go do some more math.